In this video, I want to talk about how you can become more mindful because becoming more mindful is a key way of reprogramming your brain to be more successful. Now, of course, the big question is, what is mindfulness? Well, essentially, mindfulness is a form of meditation that has been adopted by CBT. CBT, in turn, is Cognitive Behavioral Therapy. And it's a psychotherapeutic approach used to treat conditions like anxiety, phobias, addictions, etc. And the fact that this is a form of meditation can put some people off. They think it's all new age and something hippies used to do in the 1960s when they weren't smoking dope, driving around in VW microbuses and calling everybody man. Others associate it with religion, like Buddhism, for example, and think that taking it up might compromise their own religious faith. And then there are people who aren't religious at all and don't want to be associated with it for that reason. In fact, nothing could be further from the truth. You can practice meditation whether you are a religious person or an atheist. All meditation really is, is a directed attempt to control your thoughts and the contents of your mind. And in so doing, you can gain some peace and quiet, or at least be able to better understand the contents of your own brain. So, meditation essentially gives us a tool we can use, not only to calm our thoughts and escape the stresses of the day, but also to reflect on the contents of our mind in the interests of self-improvement. And, well, that's all it is, really. Often, meditation means completely silencing all thoughts. And many types of meditation, such as transcendental meditation, instruct you to think of absolutely nothing. Often this is achieved by focusing on your breathing or a mantra or a physical object like a candle flame. And this can be difficult for beginners though as they constantly find their mind wandering. Well the idea behind mindfulness meditation is not to try and empty your thoughts but instead to simply step back from them and observe them like a detached third party. And this way you aren't letting your thoughts affect you and make you stressed out but you also aren't going to struggle with not being allowed to think of anything. And using this technique will also allow you to become more aware of your own thoughts. And in so doing, you'll be able to edit any thoughts that are leading you into trouble. Now, this may be the long-term aim of mindfulness when used in CBT. In the short term, however, we're simply going to use it to remove ourselves from our thoughts and emotions and get some calm and recover, ready to tackle the day ahead. So let's look at some of the practical ways that you can use mindfulness in your daily life. In this case, mindfulness simply means being mindful of what you're focusing on and what you're thinking about at any given point. And this is useful because very often you'll find that your mind isn't perhaps where it should be. For example, if you're walking through beautiful countryside but you're thinking about your work, then, as far as your body is concerned, you may as well be at work. In this case, mindfulness can be used simply to make yourself more aware of where you are and to focus on what's actually going on around you. This means feeling the breeze on your skin, looking at the beautiful flowers and smelling the fresh air. When you do all that, you'll benefit much more from the experience. You can then use mindfulness to direct your attention to all manner of other things. For example, your physical sensations. You know, quite often we aren't aware of just how we're sitting, how we're standing or how we're feeling. So take a moment right now to reflect on this. How comfortable are you at the moment? Does any part of your body hurt? 
if you're sitting down, where's the most pressure on you? Can you feel your clothes against your body? A watch, maybe. How warm are you? Are you leaning more to one side or another? This kind of mindfulness can be useful if you want to try and fix your posture, but also if you want to improve your abilities in sports or just move more efficiently. Being mindful of the way you speak can also help you to speak more eloquently, to stop using derogatory words, to stop swearing, or to change the whole way that people perceive you. For example, if you want to sound more intelligent, you can simply try using bigger words or speaking a little more slowly. You can also use mindfulness to be happier in everyday life. Simply try to stop letting negative emotions affect you by identifying them as temporary and destructive. You can simply notice that you're getting angry and acknowledge that your thoughts will be tainted by that. With practice, this can make you a much calmer and much happier person. But what do you find when you try and do this? In all likelihood, you'll find that you forget. And this is just like the same way you forget to pick up a pint of milk when your spouse asks you to. And it's the same way you forget to take back a library book every once in a while. Most of the time we have no control over what we're focused on or paying attention to. We find ourselves forgetting things, getting into bad habits or stressing when we should be enjoying ourselves. Practicing mindfulness, both as a form of meditation and during the day, can help to improve your ability to control your thoughts and decide how you want to improve yourself and what you want to focus on.